Here's my little spur for loading. Maybe I'll back my truck up to this and load up right here. to the reverse track goes up goes in front of the house and meets the main line down there the main line goes behind the house there bulldozer still has to come back and regrade through here not quite sure where the alignment's going to be but somewhere through here Still snow up on the mountains over there, far away. I might keep coming around here. I'm trying to get around before the sun comes up. This is going to be called Mountain View Siding. Park in here, you can see a good view of the mountain. We're starting, to, we're on the uphill hill now. Not sure how steep, but. It'll be steeper up here at the other end so we can make this thing work. But I went all the way around my house. That's my little house there. And the main line's behind the house. The reverse track is right here in front, down below the porch. But we're on the main over here. It's called Lone Pine. This is a little pine tree that I transplanted from up on the mountain, just behind my house. It was one foot tall when I planted it. And now it's overhead. Hopefully it'll be good for shade someday. So it's my only pine tree, so we call this uh, Lone Pine. Anyway. There's this switch, the other end of the reverse track. This track here goes up front of the house and there's going to be like a two track yard there with storage for cars and that track leads back over to the loop so we can reverse direction in the old time and you can see the train up there on the upper level that's where we started out it's up on the bridge but down below it here let's see if you can see the difference in the height there Here's our rail down here, and there's the train up top. Anyway, to get up there, we'll keep going uphill. We're going to try to get around before the sun comes over too much. A little rock cut through here. And I'm leaving the trees as much as possible. And right here, you're surrounded by juniper trees. This is called juniper. Still uphill, still coming uphill. I'm trying not to get the sun here. Still coming uphill. Sunrise and the moon come right over this mountain. Perfect lighting for the train. And then we come through here. You can start to see some road bed here and some track. And there's the house where we were down there. This is uh, almost the summit here. Here's the summit switch. Summit switch, the switch goes to my storage container. And uh, I had the track in there and ripped it out, and I gotta put it back. Uh, I gotta move the container over and level it some more. Anyway, that's the track to the storage. It's pretty rough out here. Here's the, tr the rest of the main line, leads down to the bridge. Here's where we started, where the train was on the bridge. I don't know if you can tell, the, see the height down there. There's the reverse track, heading straight in front of the house. 
and the main line continues on. I don't know if you can see the height, but we have to go all the way around the yard over here to come back to finally get to where we're going down the main. These are uh, the old I-beams that went over Seymour Johnson's driveway in Montecito. And uh, right now they're a little above my waist is the rail height here. Anyway, we're back where we started. And Quail Valley all the way. <laughs> 